ladies and gentlemen, David Koch, you know, the Koch brothers, has died. Now, there's something very significant about the Koch brothers. When George Zimmerman was on trial for killing Trayvon, it was the Koch brothers that paid all of his legal fees. George Zimmerman literally didn't have to pay one red cent for his defense. Not one dime. These men took care of it. Well, David has died at 79. Billionaire, conservative activist, philanthropist, dies at 79. Mm -mm -mm. Here he is. This is the face of old money, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what old money is. The Koch brothers are really the true definition of old money in America. And this is usually how most of these dried up as billionaires look in this country. Nothing to look at. David Koch, billionaire, conservative, activist, philanthropist, has died. He was 79. He and his brother, Charles, co-own Coke Industries, a Nebraska-based energy and chemical company since 1983. David stepped down from running the Coke organization last year due to declining health. The Koch brothers helped to build a massive conservative network of donors for organizations that work to mobilize voters and sway elected officials in support of libertarian leaning economic policies. So this is still a developing story because it just came out, but it doesn't matter that it's a developing story. If he's dead, he's going to be dead once the story is fully developed. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, they own a lot of the products that you see in the market, especially the supermarket. So a lot of it is Koch brother industries and you'll see that those labels on many of the products in the stores and like i said this is the face of old money y'all we know where old money comes from it comes from slavery and mm -mm -mm. I wish I had some good things to say, but I just simply don't. So I'm going to end this video right now. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.